So just to, uh, down, I'm in Spain and I'm doing a few videos. One, I just was just, uh, I just asked you who you are, who I am, and what is your blip of consciousness, uh, and how random is life? Does it make any sense? Uh, it doesn't seem to a lot of times to me. But yesterday I went up to Barcelona, had a couple of meetings, uh, went to the Barcelona Chiropractic College. The students have asked me up there to, to do some lecturing and some uh, hands-on, showing them some of the stuff that I've learned over the, from the kinesiology, particularly chiropractic that I've learned. They're, it's a new college and they're some third-year students and they're just curious about the different uh, facets of chiropractic. Um, and I was laughing. I had the dining room table out, had the kids up here. I was adjusting them and seeing if they needed anything more the other day. And I was laughing about how do you do without a chiropractor in your house? It just did such a relief to get an adjustment. But uh, at any rate, I, I took the train in and out. Uh, Spain has a wonderful, uh, relatively inexpensive train system. And it, the commuter trains run into the city, then you catch the metro, and you get places in a relatively quick time. Uh, and it was after I had got a little bit of lunch and got on the train and I was sitting on the train and at one point I was uh, really, really busy. I was, I was I, honest to God, I was so busy. I was so consumed um, playing solitaire on my iPhone. Uh, sorry, that happens. And a uh, man sat down next to me and uh, he started uh, drumming. So I glanced at him, you know, to let him know that I was a little agitated, and he just kept drumming away. And uh, then he finally slowed down. Um, I don't know if the speed was wearing off or what, but uh, when he kind of slowed down, I kind of got my head out of my iPhone and looked around and thought, uh, this doesn't look anything like it should. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, it uh, didn't, and it wasn't, and it wasn't where I thought I was, should have been. And so I had to ask this man, if, first of all, if he spoke English, uh, which he didn't. Uh, and then I had to uh, discover that I had missed my station, but he told me in Spanish, and it was completely understandable, and I don't speak Spanish, I don't understand Spanish, that I had to go two more stops, I had to go under the tracks and get on a train, and the train would leave at five minutes to six in the evening. And it was completely understandable, and I don't know how it was understandable, but he repeated it several times, very slowly, very concisely, he used his hands, but used his watch, used anything to, to assist me, this man who had agitated me, right, by drumming, and probably drumming right at the time when I was missing my station. You know what I mean? He was probably drumming, and I was in, trying to get my attention, consciously or unconsciously, going, hey, you old shit, you missed your station. <laughs> but he got off the train one stop before me, and across the aisle, this little older Spanish lady stood up and she said, this is your stop in Spanish, and uh, said, now you go underneath there and catch the train on track number four. Uh, it's a great country, they're wonderful people, I, I, I'm pretty sure life is a random event sometimes, and sometimes I'm not. Uh, I did keep my awareness out all day yesterday to see, by golly, do I have something to learn here. Have a fun day, www.micpeakperformance.com.